All right, so to continue what we've done yesterday, we upgraded in this video up there to version Venus OS 3.41 and it was 50% well, partial successful. So in this video, I wanna try it again with just the Raspberry Pi 4, upgrading it. And I've done one thing, which is a separate video. I did upgrade my MultiPlus, which had already, it was on version four and there's version five dot something. So it was maybe outdated. Um, not sure if that really caused the issue or not, or if there's a break fix or whatever in that case. But uh, I'm giving it another try. Today we'll update now again. So I'm not updating the MultiPlus. That's something you have to do yourself. I will go through the steps again to see if it works. I still have my backup file from the Node Red, which is this one. So I'm not doing another backup. Uh, what I'm doing now is just going through with this update, by the way. Um, what I want to show you here, uh, here's the MultiPlus version 5.5.2. It's the same, and as you can see, here is the Raspberry Pi version 340, and I want to update it to 341. I think this is a great view in general just to see what's up to date and what not, and maybe there are some dependency from the hardware, which needs to be updated as well. That's my guess. That's my gut feeling. I have not done any more research on that part. <laughs> I hope this is correct. I want to take you through here. I did set a multiplus in the off mode soft switch going to settings now going to firmware and as always with just you know 340 large image oh, i'll just hit the update button and see what happens and i'll be back when it hopefully reboots at the right time <laughs> All right, so I can tell you already, that was nothing. It just rebooted. We're here, settings, and still have to three, four, zero. That's quite interesting. That is quite interesting. All right, I'll keep digging. All right, so I tried multiple times. I tried to find also the downloaded firmware version 3.41. Because um, someone must be stored on the Raspberry Pi, I wasn't able to find it, and I thought maybe that one is corrupt and something's wrong with that. So I downloaded the version, put it on USB drive. So it was just uh, the file itself, this file, and and now I plugged it in, and yeah, it looked already for the firmware, and I will install it from the USB and see if that works. So I'm giving it a double click here. And I'll be back as soon as this one rebooting, I guess, or whatever message is coming. Okay, now it looks like the device rebooted and it's here still connected. All right, back. Oh, it's starting, looks like. Ah, everything's connected. Yeah, it didn't work out. Okay. On to more research. You know what? Let's try the better release and see what we're messing up here. That is very interesting what just happened. It disconnected. And that's it. 
Wow. It just disconnected and put it's it's broken. Alright, this is a surprise after going back and forth so many times. Uh, yeah, you can see we finally made it. 3.41 is the installed version which I wanted to see here and it actually worked. And what I did, well, two things. First of all, I want to go into online updates, oh, update here, update feed. I switched between beta release, tried to update, didn't work multiple times. And now I went back to official release. I did not try it then afterwards, but what I did, I disconnected the MultiPlus via the USB. I just disconnected it and tried it again with installing and it works. So it's either switching from the better release to normal release again, or the MultiPlus was hindering or making some, I don't know, interruptions here. So right now you can see the uh, MultiPlus is not connected, so I'm connecting it back now. But um, I'm running the current version here, so this is amazing. I'll hit rescan, and let's see. We can see we have the dark mode here, so this will work. And we see, let's see, yeah, press to remove, get the multi plus back. There it is. So a couple things I have to test now after it finally works. Let me turn on. Yep, there it is. Heard it. Takes maybe a minute this time. Let's see, it's on. Status off. There it is. Alright. That's number one. Not this one. Not this one. And I have this one. Relay is working. Manual start. Manual stop works. No tanks at the moment. That works. Let's check the setup helper. Looks like it's installed. I see the GPS logo up there. I'm going all the way down. Package managers here. Active packages. Everything seems to be installed as it should. No dread. Let me refresh. Nice, looks like there is something. Let me refresh this page as well. Dashboard itself. There it is. And I can hear it. Nice. Okay, so it looks like we are back in business. Everything seems to be working as much as I can see here. Alright, I'm not turning on the camera for the last little bit, but uh, bottom line, I guess. That's what I thought at the beginning, that the Multiplast might have made some interruptions, some dependency that it was outdated, I upgraded it and thought it would fix it. Didn't work. I switched between better release, not better release, a couple times trying to reinstall it or install the new update, didn't work. Switched back from better release to normal and then finally I unplugged the Multiplast and started again the installation and now it worked. So let's see where we're ending up next time. Um, I hope this helps you as well in case you need to do some troubleshooting as well like I had to do here. Uh, leave some comments below if you have any questions, like the video if you um, find this helpful and of course subscribe to the channel helps me a lot and uh, helps me going forward. Thank you. Cheers.